household scraps all you need to make a splendid little paddle wheel. But you need to get the dimensions right or it won't float properly. So find yourself a plank rather like this. The dimensions you want are one centimetre by 10 centimetres by 30. That's one th centimetre thick, 10 across and 30 long. It'll look like that. And if you cut one end to a sharp point, it'll look like that. And that's the basis of your boat. Let's see what we do with it. First of all, find yourself a round pencil. That's going to be important later. And balance the boat across it, like a seesaw. And where you find the balance point, put your finger on it, make a mark, and then rule across with a ruler a straight line from side to side. Find the middle point of that and go down to the bow of the boat, the sharp end. And that's where the paddles are going to go across. That's where your motor is going to go along the end. I'll turn it around so you can see it better. Now that I said is important, the round pencil, because that's going to be the axle for the paddles. You want to get from your hardware store some screw eyes that just fit over that pencil. Not too loose, letting it go freely, but won't let it rattle around. Get two of those and jam them in as close to the edge as you can without splitting it along that line that goes across the boat. One there and one there, and push them in so that they're on the same height above the deck, because the pencil is going to go through there. And two smaller little screw hooks go, one just in front of that line across the boat, there, that's a guide for your rubber band motor, and one right up in the bow of the boat, which is going to be where you tether the rubber band motor. Well, if you finish that, you'd have this result. Properly ruled up, neatly done, and you can see if I put the pencil in there, it sits horizontally across there, it rattles around, it doesn't shake too much, and it's going to be a splendid base for the paddle wheels. And there's a hook there and a hook there. Well, the paddles are made by cotton reels, and whoever made the new plastic cotton reels knew what they were about, because some of them, this sort, have six radiating veins in them. And that's the sort you, that, that you want. Because you can imagine if you cut between those veins, you're going to be able to slip leaves of plastic in there and make extra fine paddle wheels. I've got one marked up that's uh, ready to be cut. You can see the pencil lines are between those veins there, not on top of them. If I slip that into the vise and cut through, I think you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. Here we go, into the vise. And for this one, use a hacksaw because the blade is just the right thickness for the veins that you're going to need. Cut along the pencil lines and work your way around there. The net result's going to be that a cut between each of those sets of veins. Now we can sit the uh, little blades of the paddle in there. For those, get old ice cream containers. Don't use the lids, they're too floppy. Use the containers themselves and you can cut from them these very fine, quite stiff little plastic veins. I use multicoloured ones, but you can use anything you like. White's probably better because it's a bit thicker. But cut the paddle so that it's, or the blade of the paddle rather, so it's the same width as the cotton reel but twice as long, and shove it into that cut that you've already made. You should find, as you work your way around, that those jam neatly into the hacksaw blade cuts. If not, a little bit of glue will hold them in place. At any rate, glued or not, they should end up in that sort of fashion, ready to go on the pencil. Before you put the pencil in, just get a knife or a blade, keep your fingers away, and make a little cut right in the middle. That's going to stop the rubber band from slipping around. There we are. A little slice right in the middle of it. Now you're ready to go. I find putting masking tape on the end of the pencil is good because you can jam the cotton reel on there and it doesn't come off then. You see masking tape on that end. Slip it through and jam the other paddle on like that. That's better than gluing it because you can adjust the widths of them in and out as you need to. Make sure there's a bit of a gap between the paddles and the boats otherwise they'll jam on the deck. All you have to do now is to put the motor on. I find thin rubber bands are the best. Link a couple together and hook them around the middle of the pencil where you've made that little cut. And if you pull them tightly around there, they'll sink into the cut and that stops them skidding around the pencil when you put the tension on. There we are, a good tight pull. And you can see now that passing under that first hook and tethering on the last one, as you wind the paddles back, that hook will guide the rubber band and keep it in the middle. And now we're finished. Backwind like that, keep the paddles away from the edge of the boat, 
and I think we're ready to go. And long paddle blades will give you power, while short paddle blades will give you speed. <laughs> 